Hi YouTube, this is Miss Creative 47 coming to you with a video. This video, I am creating a centerpiece for a baby shower for a little girl. So I went to Etsy, as you can see right here, and I did, I typed in baby shower mom to be, and it had different ones uh, come up. Let me type that in for you. Mom, mom, I'm spelling it wrong. Mom to be digital clip art and you have different uh, shops that has they all spin off of what the mom to be look like but I decided to get her because I've bought several of her uh, clip arts before and I just love her work and if you click on the number up, he up here and she have different types of clip art that you can also purchase from her and what I did was I kept clicking on to see which one I wanted and I saw this one because the girl is African-American and um, you get the boy and you get if you click on this arrow you get the girl meaning the color so I that's why I clicked both of them because for five dollars you can get both colors so after I bought it and I was able to download to my um, download it to my computer and if I go here and, and it's take all my purchases that I've made which I made a lot and right here is where it goes to on my in on my in my Etsy uh, purchase and I could download it from right here or you download it from your email or you once you pay for it it automatically come up and say download now I don't know you know that's how mine does so I don't know how you do maybe compu some computers is different than others so after I purchased it and I downloaded it I'm just gonna minimize this just for now I made a, a file on my desktop called download files and those files are anytime I download images that goes to, straight to that folder so I come up here to file open and here's my download files right here and I just look for it and it's under mom to be so I just look for that I don't have to really and here go mom to be and I click on that and I click on this one right here because this is the one I want actually I drag it I don't want to click on it because if I click on it, it's gonna go to another screen and it won't be on here with the rest of them so I just wanted to drag it over to here and then just click the arrow I mean the the X right up here don't click okay because then like I said it's gonna go to another uh, page so we're gonna drag her to the size we want first we're gonna put on our um, registration marks because we want to know how far how big we can make her but you need your because this is a print and cut your silhouette cameo machine does not print you have to get you a workforce 7620 or 7610 Epson printer in order for you to print out anything this size I got mine at Best Buy and right now I think they have them on sale for like $199 I think I almost paid about $300 for mine when it first came out so anyway you go up to your trace registration mark because you want to put the registration marks on and then you click this arrow right here and you click I have a cameo so I'm gonna click number one and my registration marks come up that's a registration mark there there and there it just tells your silhouette cameo machine where the image is at and where to cut and that will be printed out on when you print the whole image out it will be printed so I know that I can't go past these red lines I can go past the red lines but my silhouette cameo would not cut it'll print it but it won't cut my uh, printer will print it but my silhouette machine won't cut it it'll skip over that and start on the next line the uh, part of the image that's inside the red line so I'm going to do that and I'm gonna take it down a little bit because I want to put an offset behind her if you can see the white border around her so right now I can't cut her out because she have a transparent background and I'm gonna tell you how I know that is because when I go to cut her out it cut her out like in a box and I want to get that box from around her so we're gonna go up to this little blue blotchy thing right here and we're gonna click on that we're gonna click on the select trace area 
and we're gonna go back over to her and you see a plus sign you're gonna left click on your mouse and hold it down and you're gonna drag it all the way over your image okay now she's turning yellow and that's good that's what you want now you notice where it cuts off right here that means I didn't pull this down enough to grab all of her shoes now there you go now go over to your right and you see this high pass filter uncheck that box and now she's more yellow but we need to clean her up and get those shoes yellow get the rest of that bag close up this circle right here because then that white part it won't be in there anything where you see open is where her behind where her ear at and you want all that to be yellow so you're going to go back over to your right go to your threshold you're going to take this little blue arrow and you're going to drag it to your right until you see that everything is filling up okay now it took it to 100 so that's fine so then you're going to go up go to trace and detach click on that give it a minute to work now Let's pull her away and where you then you left click on your mouse and drag over it. now you see the boxes come up that's that the, these little small boxes with the yep the green dot right there and these boxes that's where the box that was around her at so delete that now take it back over and let's see if it will cut her out see now it will cut around her now but it won't cut inside her arm so let's get rid of that transparent back up up under her arm so let's go clear it so it won't be so fuzzy so we're gonna go right up here what is that anyway open the design page this design page uh, button right there take it back now we're gonna click on her we're gonna go up here to do copy and we're gonna do a paste okay we're gonna take her off right quick and put her on like it could have been the same you know I didn't have to take her off it I don't know why I, I did that okay so now what we want to do let's push her over and we work with her off the page so now we're gonna go back up to this little blotch thing right here we're gonna do the same thing when we took the, the square box around her we want to take it from out from under her arms so we're gonna click on that and we are just going to take it and drag it right about there then we're going to go do high pass filter onto your right go back to the threshold drag it until you fill it in and it's at 100 again then instead of doing trace and detach you're just going to do trace right up here all right now let's let that go now you see this image that was up under her arm okay so this is what we need so we're going to click on it go up to object and all the way down you're going to say do click on re release compound path all right, and this is what we need so we're going to drag that out from the rest of it and get rid of the rest of it because we don't need it all right and we don't need her anymore either all right now we're going to take this and put her up under her arm and make sure you get it right you can enlarge it to make sure you get it right where you need it to be wait a minute i came off of it okay and i think that's about right i might want to come down yeah that's right okay now you're gonna left click and group both of them together so you have a box over your image and you have a box over your outline right here you see those four well six and you see six around here then you're gonna go up to object again and this time instead of clicking on release compound path you're gonna click on make compound path all right now let's see will it cut out in between the arms and in her back see now it will cut out between her arms and in her back so you ready to do a print and cut you ready to print her out and cut her on your silhouette machine all right but we're not finished yet because we want to put this white outline behind her or around her so we're going to click on her and we're going to go up to this little house I, and it's called open the offset window and you click on that and now on, on, off to your right you click offset and now you see this red border that's going around her you want to make that a little bit tighter up against her skin so we're going to type in 0.050 click enter apply and now it's tight 
tighter to her body, but you don't want it red with no with transparent back. So we're gonna go up to this paint bucket right here. Click on white, and now we want the red outline to be white as well. So you're gonna go over to where from the paint bucket all the way over to where you see these colorful lines at right there. You're gonna click on that and click on white. Now if you take her away from you, you see she have a white background. Now go up here to this arrow and put it back. Never, the reason why I say put her back because if you try to drag her back over there where she was, she sometimes you don't get it in the right spot. So just click back like you undoing something. So now you're going to left click above her head, like about right here. You're going to left click above her head and you're grouping them all together. So you got two boxes, two separate boxes, but you want to group it as one. You're going to go down to your left corner right here, if you can see, and click on that. Now it's as one. Okay, so we're going to get rid of her because we already done with her. And now you are ready to do your print and cut. Just make sure that you have an, all your stuff in the center, where nothing is going off the page or out of the red lines. Like I said, if you take her and just say her bag was a little bit and her shoe was a little bit out off out of the line, what your your cutting machine gonna do is gonna cut, 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 cut. It's gonna skip all this right here and start cutting where it's inside the red line. Cut, 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 cut. It's gonna skip this heel, skip that, skip that, and it's gonna go all the way to what's inside the red line and start cutting. All right, so that's just a tip from me to you. And after I finish designing this, I will show you a video on how to put it all together. So I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, just leave me a message below and I'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I have more and more videos coming soon. And if you having trouble with your silhouette cameo machine or anything that you want to cut out or design or you want to know how to do something, just leave me a message and I'll be gladly to help you with anything if I know. All right. See you. See you soon.